Doctors at Penn Medicine came up with the treatment 10 years ago. 10 years ago. One of them told us a patient who got this treatment isn't just in remission. They are cured. It's amazing. Wow. NBC 10's Lucy Bustamante talked with one of the doctors involved with the treatment. Lucy, you said that doctors don't just throw around the cure or cure around likely. Oh, no, what does no. this mean for the patients, though? It's a really big deal for them, especially for the ones with leukemia and lymphoma. It means that this immune therapy that's called CAR T cells could become a treatment option much earlier after a diagnosis. The study that was pu published this month in the Journal of Nature shows that the cancer-killing cells they created at Penn and put into their patients' bodies 10 years ago, they're still working. They could still find them in their bodies as a surveillance system working to kill any cancer that they could possibly find. But right now, this therapy is only available to patients who have relapsed or have late stage leukemias and lymphomas. Dr. David Porter, he is one of the two doctors in, involved in this 10-year breakthrough study, and he told me that they, wanted to, they want to get this therapy to patients faster, sooner. That way, they don't have to be subjected to harsher stages of cancer. If they're really that effective, if they can be given safely, then why not use them sooner? You know, why wait um, until they're running out of all other options and why make this a last ditch effort? So there are studies happening right now, guys, to make sure that maybe you can make it available sooner, faster, but they have to prove safety. So for patients who are not a part of the study, they're going to need to talk with the physician about this and talk with your care coordinators at one of the medical centers that has participated in one of these studies. Meanwhile, the star patient of the study told me that this means the world to him. They couldn't find cancer anywhere. And that was literally probably not, not more than about five weeks after uh, my first infusions. But yeah, um, they're using the word cure and, and for sure I, I, I consider myself to be cured. Sitting here and just saying those words uh, was pretty emotional. We took a pause because he started to cry about that. He was very emotional. The doctors also emotional. They actually had a heartbreak last year, guys, because there was another participant in the study, mm -hmm. Bill Ludwig, that became Doug's buddy, right? He was cured of lymphoma with this gene therapy. And a severe case of COVID took him down. Oh, my mm. goodness. How yeah. devastating. They, yeah. they were devastated. But this is offering so much Amazing. hope to patients who are Absolutely surviving this incredible. right now. And their yeah. families, too, that That's are right. you know, going to the hospital constantly and yeah. supporting and yep. going through it. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Lucy, this is tremendous. Thank you. Sure.